This week on The Wire, single women rise as first home buyers, homes lift wealth to record high, and Queensland leads sales uplift. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, single women rise as first home buyers. So despite earning on average 13% less than men, single women are becoming a significant force in the housing market. Now analysis by mortgage broker Loan Market has found the proportion of single female first home buyers has risen from 15.7% to 22% in the past year, one of the fastest growing home buyer demographics. Now buyer's agent Kate Backos says single uh, female first home buyers now account for one in five of her clients. She says government incentives and low interest rates have helped them navigate a purchase they ordinarily couldn't have. They are growing in numbers and are becoming a significant force. Now, single women's specific reasons for buying a home are as varied as the housing market, but a bigger trigger is rapidly rising prices. Uh, Melbourne first home buyer Michaela Weston says, I looked at the rate at which home prices are rising and realized I would be left behind if I tried to save a 20% deposit. So I weighed up my options and realized that I could get into the market now using a 5% deposit. And now guys, moving on to our next story, homes lift wealth to record high. So despite all the disruption caused by pandemic lockdowns, Australia's net wealth has recovered quickly from the 2020 slide to reach record levels. Thanks to booming house prices, a rising share market and recovery in labour markets, Australia's net wealth has risen faster and by a larger amount than it did in the three years to the start of the pandemic in early 2020. Now, the combination of a major rise in house prices and the rebound in the value of the ASX in the year to March has seen total household wealth reach an all-time high of $12.66 trillion. Now, the March quarter national financial accounts underlined the strength of the recovery from the slump in the March quarter of 2020 when net wealth fell 1.8% to 10.99 trillion. Now the past year has seen an unprecedented surge of 1.77 trillion or around 17%. Now the three months to March saw net wealth rise 4.3% or 518 billion which in turn saw net wealth per head rise to a record high of $492,000. And now guys for our final story of the week, Queensland leads sales uplift. So Australia's booming property market has seen a record number of transactions and price growth, a new report reveals. Digital property settlements platform uh, Property Exchange Australia, PEXA, has released its Property and Mortgage Insights report, which confirms the national property boom. Queensland is the standout performer among the eastern states, with property sales settlements rising 37% to 203,100 in financial year 2021. New South Wales recorded the highest settlement volumes of 218,700, a 26% rise. Now, held by lockdowns, Victoria lagged at 199,017%, which was a 12% rise. Now, PEX's report also analyzes borrowing behavior, suggesting regional buyers are less likely than city buyers to fund their new purchase with a loan. It says 80% of city settlements are funded with a new loan, compared to only 66% for regional settlements, suggesting metropolitan homeowners are moving to regional areas to take advantage of lower priced properties, flexible working arrangements, and a change in lifestyle. Well, guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, it's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot, guys, and bye for now.